Hello, everybody, and thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today, I will be talking about Season 2, Episode 20, Malice Domestic, starring Ralph Meeker as Carl Borden and Phyllis Daxter as Annette Borden. And this is definitely one of my favorite Season 2 episodes up to this point. It is a very well-acted episode, and it has a twist that really worked for me, even though you do have to kind of just go with it. It uh, does seem to be a little bit out there, but overall I thought this episode was very, very good. So we start with a married couple, Carl and Annette, and it turns out that their friend um, is moving out of town, and they are going to be inheriting her dog because she cannot take the dog with her, and the dog's name is Cassandra. We also find out here that Carl is a writer, and Annette is an artist. She works with clay and things like that. So we go to the next scene, and we can see that uh, the dog, Cassandra, likes Carl a lot, quite a bit. Maybe not so much Annette, which will be uh, used in an interesting way throughout the episode. You can tell Annette is a little bothered by this, or you're not really sure how she feels about it, which works to the episode's advantage. So we go to another scene, and it's dinner time, and it turns out there's a friend named Perry visiting. Um, and also, at this point, Carl's not feeling well after eating dinner. As a matter of fact, he's feeling so poorly that he calls a doctor for help. So the doctor comes and uh, doesn't think too much of it at this point. He says, it's probably just the food didn't agree with you. Uh, it's probably not too serious. But uh, we, the viewer, know something more is probably going on here. So then we get a scene where Annette's at lunch with Perry and the doctor, and they're chatting about Carl, asking if he's feeling better. They also bring up the dog, Cassandra, again. I think this scene was mostly just used as a mislead to make us not sure about the character of Annette. I thought it worked well enough. So, at this point, Annette comes home. The doctor conveniently uh, brings her there, and they find Carl passed out on the floor. So the doctor checks him out and tells him he should eat a light uh, diet until the doctor can, you know, investigate more into the matter. So at this point, we also get a scene where it shows Carl and Cassandra bonding more. And I thought this was really well done. I thought at some point Cassandra would help Carl figure out what was really happening to him. But as we see at the end of the episode, there's uh, another reason that these two are probably so close. I really liked how this was done um, in the episode. So at this point, the doctor decides to visit Carl again. He wants to see him alone. Uh, and at this point, I'm suspecting that uh, Annette is doing something to him. So the doctor says that, Carl, you know, your food is being poisoned and it would have to be your wife doing it because she's the one that always makes your food. So Carl gets really mad at the doctor at this point and threatens him uh, actually to leave. So at this point we get a scene where Annette's talking about her work and Carl finds out that she uh, uses some kind of glaze that has arsenic in it. So now we're thinking for sure that Annette must, to be up to, uh, must be up to something. And at this point, I fell for it completely, I have to say. So at this point, the two decide they're going to go on a trip, as it seems like there's been a little bit of a tension between them lately. So uh, Cassandra's following Carl basically out to the car, but when he goes back inside, he sees that Annette is a goner on the floor. She's dead. And... Uh, the doctor comes in and says that Annette must have been so overconfident that she drank the cup uh, made for Carl and she basically poisoned herself, which uh, I was buying at this point. But then we see a very strange last scene with Carl with a weird look on his face. Ralph Meeker really nailed this, I have to say. And we see that Carl is with the friend from the beginning of the episode, Lorna, and they have the dog Cassandra with them. So I guess this is why uh, Carl and Cassandra were so close because uh, both of them had a connection with Lorna. This ending genuinely surprised me, and I was uh, really in shock here. I found it to be very interesting. Uh, the episode just works very well from beginning to end. Of course, we get kind of a silly ending where Alfred Hitchcock says Cassandra, you know, turned Carl in, which uh, that's just how this show was back then. They always wanted to make sure that the villain got what was coming to them. But that didn't really ruin this episode for me. Um, which I thought was very good. You do have to suspend your, uh, you know, beliefs a little bit here as, uh, you know, Carl would have had to been uh, giving himself poison to set this all up. And like you said, he almost killed himself. But if you can just go with that plot element, um, Malice Domestic is a very entertaining episode. And I'm going to give it four out of five. And I do think it's among the best season two episodes. And I recommend it for fans of the show. So four out of five for Malice Domestic. And as always, thank you very much for watching.